imagine you are following best practices, you created a solution in an environment, and inside that solution, you created a couple of elements like power apps, like custom connectors, like flows, or anything else. All of a sudden, you decide that, oh, you know what, I don't need that, and you decide to delete the solution. Question is that, if you delete the solution, what will happen to all those elements inside it? Well, the answer is that, I don't know, because there are so many various types of elements that you can add to a solution that I really cannot tell which one will be deleted and which one will not. But at least I can tell you for sure, for flows, it does not. Flows stay there, but how to find them, how to take care of them, or basically what to do with them, and why should we care if they are sitting there? Let's get into it and see what we can learn. Before we start, do not try this at home. This is one of those things that I am doing it as a professional, so you may put yourself in trouble a little bit if you are doing it on the corporate network. So main thing is that if you are doing it on any environment, just make sure you are the administrator of that environment. And you will see it in a minute. Regardless, I created a sandbox environment called Flow Fun, just a fresh environment, and I want to do everything in this environment. So I go to Power Apps Console and I click on Flows. I will see the list of all the flows that I have that I created just a dummy flow. It's an instant flow and it works. I can simply, let me just show you what is inside it, nothing important. It's just a trigger that it can accept a name and I just put the name in a compost. That's it, it just saves and just a bare minimum that you can create. Now for the second flow, I want to go back to Solutions and I want to create a solution here. I call it fun solution and one, for example. Version, publisher, it doesn't matter. I just pick any publisher here. I just want to do it as quickly as possible. Nothing, I just create a solution. Solution is created called fun solution. I can open it and it is empty. Now, inside this solution, I want to add a flow. And that's going to be a cloud flow, and it's going to be an automated one this time. So that I can actually track it. I just click on skip. I search for the trigger schedule. I pick the recurrence and let it run every, for example, one minute. And every one minute, this flow is going to fire and send an email. Send email v2, right? Let it connect. Takes a while because there is no connection in this environment. All right, and we're good. I want to send it to myself. And subject is going to be test from dummy solution. And body is going to be this is some fun. Or is it? I'm not sure. I just want to give it a name and I want to call it my dummy schedule. All right. And I just save it. As soon as I save it, the flow is enabled and it should start sending emails. Let me go back to my mailbox. It's just an empty mailbox. There is nothing inside it. So boom, we got the first one and every minute it's going to send me one email. So after five minutes, if I come back, I should see five emails in this mailbox, but exactly the same subject and the content. We are good. So now let's go back here and it is saved. So I go back here and you see inside this environment, it created a connection reference and the flow. Flow is active and I am the owner. Just keep that in mind, right? I go back and Fast forward another one or two minutes just to make sure that the flow is running. Here is another one. I wait for another minute. Fast forward. Okay, we got the third email. So every minute it's actually sending one email out. We are good. So all of a sudden we get sick of it. We go back to our solutions and I pick the solution and I want to get rid of it. Delete. And the solution has been successfully deleted. I go to the list of flows. The only flow that I should have 
is the dummy flow that I created before I even start this video. Now, if we go back to our mailbox. After it is deleted, logically, we shouldn't get an email. So let's wait a little bit and see if that flow is still working. Uh-oh, I got another email. After it is deleted, all right, maybe that was already sent and it was just on the way. Let's wait for another minute and see what we get out of it. Fast forward. The bad news is that emails are still coming. Although we deleted the solution and we assumed everything inside it was deleted. But that flow is sitting somewhere running and firing one email every minute. And it just makes everybody more and more nervous. So now we need to take care of that. You don't find it under flows. You don't find it under solutions. But if you go to the Power Platform administration, if you pick that environment under details of it, and you go to the resources and look for flows, you will find the source of this problem. You see, it shows you dummy flow. There is nothing more. But just click on load more. Now it finds that dummy schedule that is still there. And the weird part is that even the owner is gone. So this flow does not have an owner, but it is enabled and it fires email one after another. Here, you can actually disable it. You can see its details. You can see connections. You can see owners that they don't exist. But that's it. You cannot do much about it, at least from here. So let's disable it. Hopefully, we will get rid of those emails. And yes, we will, regardless. And that's it. It's not gone. It's just hiding because it doesn't have owner. Click on load more again. And now that's up to you. If you want to delete it or not, you may delete it and get rid of it. But this is how you can track an orphan flow that you don't know where it is. And that was it for today. I want to keep it short and just share a tiny tip with you that may help you at some point. And this was the very last video of 2021. See you next year, and I wish all of you a happy new year. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.